So the Queen Alexandra Stakes then is the final race of the Royal Meeting. It's actually a handicap in SO7 land, 0 to 120, which should make it a little bit more competitive. It's normally a race that's full of National Hunt horses in real life. Go Timers at the top for Joshua Sutherland. High Castle Flag for Jim Murray. True Case Richard for Satyam Sandra Sagam. For Rosie Nickers for Dan Hughes. And Driveway for Obi One Five in it. So five will take home a little bit of loose change. Um, one of the lesser races of the week to end. I always think this is a rather after the Lord Mayor show type end to the meeting. They're away and racing. Well, I suppose. They wouldn't want to put a particularly big race at the end of the day, would they? And we will go home early and get out of the car park before it gets too busy. And tree case Richard for Satyam has gone off into the lead. Satyam's had a really good Royal Ascot. Nobody's been keeping score. Nobody seems to be interested in those sort of things anymore. We used to have all sorts of things going on with dual code championships and little divisions or world super leagues and stuff, but Nobody seems bothered about doing that sort of thing anymore. Very little comments on the forum these days. But I think if Satyam wins this, he might well be in with a chance of being the top trainer at Ascot. Although some of his wins may have been at Carlisle yesterday or wherever we were. Bath it was, wasn't it? And, uh, everybody wants to do the count back on her. Derek Hinton was doing particularly well at one point. I've got a feeling that John Morgan has overtaken Derek, and he's currently probably top, but Satya might be pretty close up anyway. I'll stop waffling, you'll soon be shot on me for a few weeks. As this is the final day of the year, we'll take a three week break and then be back for the second half of the season. I think the upload window is open for those of you who've got stables that aren't full. You can add a few, there's no Substitutions anymore, you can't delete anybody that's not doing any good and bring any new ones in. Or something that we trialed a few years ago, I think it was only supposed to be a trial, but it seems to have stayed. And nobody seems to be complaining too much about it, which is strange because a lot of people complain about a lot of things in the SO world. And Tree Case Richard is in the lead, High Castle Flag is second. Go time is third. Ferozzi Nickers running in the wrong colours is fourth. And driveway on the outside is fifth. That's the order then. They've still got best part of a mile and a half to go. And I'm going to say when we come back after the New Year break, it's a busiest week of the season with. Loads of bonus races on the flat for the maidens for the new horses that come in, but there might not be that many older than I thought, so maybe there'll be some easy pickings for winners in week seven for some people. When week seven does come round in the first week of January. So Tree Case Richard is in the lead for Satyam. High case Fla High Castle Flag is in second for Jim Murray. Then go time for Joshua Sutherland third. Gap back to driveway for Obi Wan is on the outside of Dan Hughes's discoloured Ferozzi knickers. They should be blue, but they're not, they're green. And it's Tree Case Richard is in the lead with seven furlongs to go. High Castle flag on the inside of Go Time. And then a gap back to Driveway and Ferozzi knickers. The order has stayed pretty much the same all the way through so far. Tree Case Richard. Keeping up his work to his work in the lead. Then go time and high castle flag. Get back to driveway and Ferozzi Nickers at the back. Tree case which is still four clear. So they come down to the final four furlongs. I mean, I'm pulling away if anything. The only one that seems to be making any progress at all is Obi Wan's driveway, and that one is going to sweep past the Murray and Sutherland pair, I think, and moving to second, although that suddenly 
got those two going again now, so maybe driveway's done those two a favour. Satyam's tree case, Richard, is still kicking on again in the lead. The only one who's totally out of it is Frozen Knickers, although High Castle Flag now looks to be labouring. Tree case, Richard is in the lead, being chased hard by driveway and go time. They're inside the final two, and Tree case, Richard is in front, but now being hard pressed by driveway. Go time between the two of them. The three of them in a ding dong battle. Everything else is out of sight. It's three in a line, then as they race into the final four, and it's go time who takes it up go time from driveway on the outside tree case richard now looks beaten it's go time in front but driveway is coming up on the outside and driveway is beginning to get up is he now go time is fighting back drive time going here comes here comes tree case richard again it's going to be driveway that takes it driveway takes it for ob1 and a thrilling finish to the end of the royal well, ascot meeting so there's me saying it was going to be a bit of a dull ending and it's turned out to be one of the best finishes of the week and Obi-Wan Sirius Chill will be filled to bits, I think, as he takes the final race off the Royal Meeting. Let's take a look at the full list of the finishing order of that Marathon Queen Alexandra Stakes. Final race of the week, driveway for Obi-Wan, the winner, the bottom weight. Uh, won it well. Go time for Joshua Southern, the top weight second. Tree case Richard for Satya and Sandra Sagan was third. High Castle flag for Jim Murray fourth. And Ferozi Knickers for Dan Hughes was fifth. <laughs>